below. So good to see you. Where is he? There he is. Sorry about the delay there. I have to go and find the wife to press some new buttons. Good morning, everybody. It's lovely to get the gang back together. Hey! <laughs> Good to see you. Oh, it's great to see you. It feels like a long time since we caught up, doesn't it? How are you all? I'm good, thanks. You came well. Um, obviously, last time we met, I think it was in February. Um, so unfortunately, due to obviously the situation, I haven't really been up to too much. But um, in terms of physically as well, my hands and arms are probably a little bit weaker, but still lucky that I'm doing everything um, day to day and absolutely independent. So. Keep going. Rob, what about you? I'm fine, yeah. Um, loving on with family during lockdown, but probably see me laugh me and my voice in where. Oh, Rob, it's good to hear that you're happy. I can hear that it's difficult for you to talk, but you feel OK. Yeah. I feel normal. Only when you go to me, that you know, I really something wrong, but I don't see it now. I feel absolutely normal. What about you, big man? Yeah, things were not too bad. I still need a bit of help with the show, clothing, eating, but otherwise, I'm down on the farm. I'm quite enjoying looking down actually because it allows me to have time with the family. Believe it or not, drive, drive my tractor, which I quite enjoy for a couple of hours a day. Just do normal things in family that maybe wasn't happening time before. So things are not too bad. Now, I know all of you obviously have been shielding. So you have been more isolated probably than you ever have been before in your lives. What's that been like? My nearest shop is four miles away. The nearest neighbour is a quarter of a mile away. So it's allowed me still to get out and about. How's lockdown been for you, Stephen? I know you and your wife have been busy with your charitable work. That's been hugely successful, hasn't it? Yeah, we've quite enjoyed lockdown. Uh, it's nice to spend some time together. Uh, I think with our schedule, especially when we both play football, um, it's been quite busy, so we haven't had I had the chance to spend a lot of time together, so we quite enjoyed spending some time together and slowing things down. And um, one of Steph's friends wanted to do something for the foundation and raise some money. So her and a few friends wanted to do 100K in May. Within a few days, it just really took off. And I think in the end, we had about 700 people involved to raise that amount of money, when obviously, all the uncertainty going around and, and times are tough for people was, it was incredible. Now, Rob, what about you? How has it been for you? Because I know you've got a, a busy household with young children. What's that been like, trying to keep everyone entertained? Ah. It's Linda and the kids have been brilliant. My youngest, Jackson, I come on so much. I mean, make it better, I know, I know, we lot now. My really took the fun out of it. Doddy, I know the situation um, is different in different parts of the UK. Obviously, you're in Scotland. What would you like the next steps to be? How do you feel about any easing of the lockdown for you and other people with MND? Well, I think with me, sir, like everyone else, there's rules and regulations out there. And just for everyone to comply with them, because this is quite a serious condition, the COVID. I think if our guys get it, I was told by my sort of medical team that if I go on the ventilator, the likelihood is I'll never get off. Fighting MND is bad enough never have to try and take on the COVID. So we can stay away from that. What about things like, you know, your treatment? How has that been working? She's all been quite difficult, Sarah, because all that's going to be on hold because it's generally not allowed. It shows the importance of the mind. And Stephen, what about you? Because I know you were really involved in treatment in the United States. What, what's happened with that? Yeah, so I'm on a trial in, in, in America, in Boston. 
Uh, fortunately for me, they were the remotely. So I did have a video call um, with the consultants over there and they were able to send the trial medication over. When you see at the moment as restrictions are easing and we're seeing pictures everywhere of families reuniting you, know, lots of hugs on social media, what's that like for you when you see that? Is that quite tough because obviously you're not there yet? Yeah, obviously it is tough, but you've got to realise we're in a different situation with them and that we are at risk and I say we need to shield for, for a lot longer, so it's important that we do follow the rules and follow the guidance, really just to, as Doddy said, to keep us healthy and as, as, as fit as we can. When this is all lifted, when the restrictions are eased, what is the thing you're most looking forward to doing? You know, who who is the person you're going to go and hug? No, not me, Mama. No, symbol thing. Like, going to play with my kids. All I want is normality. No, I don't what about you, Doddy? What are you most looking forward to when you're set free? I'm looking most forward to is taking Rob out on the night out and getting up to sea fights again. <laughs> uh, I know, me. In <laughs> July the 4th is my 15th, and which will be... No. You oh, never. Stop. <laughs> stop but with that, three years ago when I got diagnosed, I never thought I would make it, and that's how serious this situation. Luckily enough, I'm still here. I'm going to celebrate it. Stephen, particularly, I'd start with you maybe. How important is it to have the support of these two? That support's huge to know that you've got um, Doddy and Rob uh, fighting for the same thing that you have. Obviously, I wish they weren't fighting for the same thing. Um, but we are, and, and their support is, is absolutely incredible. It's important that we, we keep fighting and we keep smiling. And the email in me is invaluable, so I can't ask anybody better than The thing is just have a positive outlook. It's the only real drug we've got, the mental ones. Stay positive, stay safe, and we'll party when we're loved. Lads, it is absolutely wonderful to see you all. Absolutely, it's great to see you. All looking so good and so mentally positive and so strong. Keep being positive and we will keep in touch and we will come and see you the moment we are all allowed to be back together again. Take care, lads. Thank you. Thank you. Love you.